Okay, we've got a couple of things drawn in here. We have the uh, plane set up by the golf shaft, and then the body plane, which goes uh, from outside the ball up through the shoulders. We want to see the club stay between those two lines. Uh, we Definitely the club head. What we see here is the club head goes a little too low on the back, so you can see how it's going inside. Uh, hands are in a pretty good place, uh, but I'd like to see the club head just a little bit more outside the hands. It gets it right on plane there very, very nicely. And notice right now the head is staying nicely in the circle that he set up at the beginning of his swing. Then he's going to go to the top of his backswing, head still staying pretty steady. And then all of a sudden, you shall see, he's got a little down force there. But watch as he moves into the ball. There's the lifting going on right there. And while it's only a couple of inches, that's enough to make it very difficult to get back to the ball for a solid hit. Then he pulls all the way up and out of the circle on his follow through. So he's completely lost his spine angle. Uh, at impact. Uh, so we're going to work hard on driving the right shoulder more down to the golf ball, down and under instead of out so far. See, at, at when we're here, you can see if I clear out uh, the circle, get it out of the way, you can see that the shoulders aren't parallel to the swing plane line. So we got to get the left shoulder a little lower, the right shoulder a little higher, and then reverse him as he's coming into the ball. And there's his over the top move, move right there. We saw that pretty easy. Okay, let's watch the over-the-top move, see right there, and then he pulls up.